it started for us as a master thesis in industrial design 2005. Um, the same time as we were about to choose what kind of master thesis we wanted to do, um, a law came to Sweden that made it mandatory for all children up to 15 years to have a bicycle helmet. Uh, it's a big problem in Sweden and in, in also in other countries that people aren't using today's bicycle helmets. We noticed that there's a great um, lack in variety in the bicycle helmets uh, today because they are all uh, basically made for the sport industry, the sport cycling, and um, not for the everyday bicyclists. Uh, and uh, that made us want to go into um, uh, something completely different and something that would attract uh, all the people that are not interested in looking sporty. And we asked people in the city, um, we made a questionnaire why they don't use bicycle helmet today and what the problems with them and what they wanted tomorrow's bicycle helmets to look like. And um, they said they wanted, uh, they didn't want to mess up their hair, they wanted to be very discreet to match their clothes, um, they wanted it to be foldable so that you can put it in your pocket and they wanted it to be invisible and uh, we were we started to think how do you make a bicycle helmet that is invisible and doesn't destroy your hair um, and then we just um, just came actually like a what do you say like a lightning uh, what if the, the bicycle helmet was invisible um, uh, at all times until you're in an accident and then an airbag pops up uh, and um, protects your head. So that was our our starting point. You put it on like this, this is a small with um, a, a shell that we call Creator's Cut. It, it's our favorite and our first um, designed shell. But this is how you put it on. And this is actually the on-off button. So when you put it on like that, you ha you hear this still it. You can see the diodes showing that it's on and the battery level also. And for me, I bi take my bicycle to work every day. Uh, I charge my helmet every third week. And then you do it like this, that you have this um, micro USB uh, cable that you put here and the, the other and to, to your computer. There are sensors inside of the collar, both uh, gyros and accelerometers uh, that are monitoring your body movements all the time when you go bicycling with the Hevdin. We have been researching about bicycle accidents during uh, six years now. We had test bicyclists wearing these colors in their everyday life and we have um, used stunt men and women to simulate uh, bicycle accidents and also used crash test dummies for live crash tests to collect the data from uh, how you move in an accident. Out from this giant database we have then uh, developed a very complex mathematical method to separate accident behavior from the normal bicycling so that the airbag knows when to inflate. And when you're in an accident, uh, the airbag will pop out in a tenth of a second uh, in the shape of a hood surrounding your entire head, uh, except for the eyes, uh, and protecting your head against impact.